Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we have some bad news for Western anime localizers. Uh, yeah, the CEO of Crunchyroll coming right out and saying it. We're going to use AI generated subtitles. They're definitely an area we're focusing on. And I guarantee you they're also going to use AI voices and whatever they can do to cut out the middleman and you localizers being the middleman, you dub actors being the middleman. Look, I'm not being like, oh, 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 you're all losing your jobs. But there are some people working in this industry that really think too highly of themselves. And it looks like they're going to be taken out of the equation per the boss of Crunchyroll. I could see them like doing the AI and then turning around and they had some good ones. They knew that we're actually trying to stay true to the source. And they brought them in to like, you know, do a couple of fixes and tweaks here and there. Could you punch it up a little bit, make it make more sense in English right. without injecting politics, without changing the entire. But these are the guidelines. This is right. the, this is what it says. Can you just make it a little more, you know, understandable to that, to Western audiences without changing everything about it because you're ass mad over right. it. Right. And this is coming about a month after there was all kinds of controversy about uh, localizers inserting their own politics into translations, into dubs. And then again, when they brought the, the U.S. Transformers cartoon to Japan, they took yeah. out the non-binary stuff out of it. Yeah, that was really interesting. So what they did is an excuse. They said, well, you know, we edit these shows for time in Japan. We don't have as much time. So we had to take that whole scene out where they explain why I think it's uh, Nightbird. I think it was Nightbird um, or Nighthawk or whatever one, but some, whatever they, them, uh, the they, them transformer, whichever one it is, they had to explain, you know, that they were non-binary and blah, blah, blah. Well, that whole scene got cut. And then they refer to that transformer as a dude for the rest of the show. <laughs> Well, technically, they all are non-binary, but what's the whole other argument? Technically, I guess it depends on if you listen to the Marvel comics, but it didn't need to be like, this is a show where robots turn into cars and blow shit up, right? Yeah, like, do we, that's all you need to know. Do we need a, a five-minute PSA about gender ideology? And it's also a show geared toward younger kids, I think, than previous incarnations of Transformers. So it's probably why it's there. I mean, oh, let's, I'm let's sure be honest. it is. So let's talk about this. Anyway, let's talk about this. Uh, this is uh, pretty big news. This is actually confirmation because all these localizers have been like, no, you you chuds, that's not what's going on. They're not going to replace us. You chuds, you wish you could be like us. You wish you could be like us. Yeah, you're going to be gone soon. Um, I'm sorry. There it is. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. You get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. No woohoos. Uh, no woohoos. You just for... told me to woohoo. Huh? You just told me to woohoo. No, I'm saying that they're going to be boohoos, not woohoos at oh, Crunchyroll. Okay. I was like very confused. I mean, like, no woohoos. I'm like, they're... you just told me. Make up your mind, man. After after Sony bought them, man, they just started chopping. They lost their one uh, fancy facility. They're, but they 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 have two. Got rid of, yeah, they got rid of Funimation. They rolled it into Crunchyroll now. It's just all coming down. It's all crumbling. Uh, this has come from comic book resources. Crunchyroll CEO says AI generated subtitles are definitely an area we're focused on. This was, uh, I guess this article was in the verge and had a couple of people send this to me uh, yesterday and said, yeah, it's going to get real now guys, but they kind of distill it down here on CBR, probably AI taking, oh, no. taking it and distilling well, it down. CBR, it's probably true. Crunchyroll CEO, I think it's uh, Raul Purini says AI generated subtitles are an area that the streaming service is currently very focused on testing, perhaps to the dismay of some anime viewing audiences. No, I don't think the anime viewing audiences, I think the, the localizers, because they're effectively out of work. Mm -hmm. um, so the CEO sat down with The Verge for an hour-long interview where he discussed how Crunchyroll could become more a more attractive option for anime fans. One solution was increased development in AI-generated subtitles, AI is definitely something we think a lot about in a lot of different workflows in the organization. Right now, one of the areas we're very focused on testing is subtitles and our closed captioning where we go from speech to text. How do we improve and optimize our processes where we can get the subtitles done in various languages across the world faster so that we can launch as close to the Japanese release as possible? So that's definitely an area we're focused on. Which makes sense. That does make sense. It's not just the speed, but I think if you read between the lines, 
it's the accuracy. Like you're going to get an authentic subtitled <laughs> version of the anime, right? So I think that this is they're trying to do the subtitles so people aren't going and pirating it. Why are they pirating it? Sometimes they don't want to pay and sometimes it's because they don't want the westernized version mm -hmm. of it. I mean, that's the truth. Uh, some of the shows just aren't available. I'm going to be honest. There are shows that were available years ago. that are no longer available. Well, he's talking too about the fact that it's quicker sometimes until they get around to doing the, the subtitles and stuff. So people might just do it because they're they want to get it quicker, and this way they can they can generate the subtitles themselves faster. Well, it takes time to rewrite the script. It yeah, takes I know. time it to yeah, to, to rewrite you. everything. It takes really... time for one localizer and their twenty friends to go through it all and make sure they got yeah, every problem you, that piece ever. You have to run every line through Twitter and make sure that uh, it meets uh, your your friends, your constituents' uh, expectations. So the uh, quote arose during a conversation about how he hoped to make Crunchyroll more viable than piracy. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. He highlighted that fans desire to access the anime as close to the Japanese release yes. as possible. And probably as close to the Japanese, you know, intended meaning as possible. Intended meaning, yeah. Again, sometimes it makes sense to change things. Like if you've got a character, you know, rhyming to Japanese words, it does not make sense in English because those words do not rhyme. I can right. see making some changes in that case. But again, we have localizers inserting politics and gender ideology and all this stuff into what they consider to be problematic work. And then they brag about it. They brag about it. They do. It, like, high know? five me, bro. And then like, yeah, yo, 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 suck it, haters. Ha 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 ha. Um, so they said, yeah, AI subtitles are proving contentious. Many anime fans were concerned about the low quality subtitles and the Yuzuki family's four sons debut episode. It'll get better. Uh, leading some to believe that they had been generated by AI. Which is possible. It is possible. Now, actually, uh, back in the day when we had bootleg anime, some of those subtitles were pretty awful. Like mm -hmm. you would get a show that wasn't released in the U S and they would, they would, uh, it was in uh, English. It was in English. I mean, I'm, that's, I'm being honest here. It was in English. And some of the, like, I know we had the, uh, the bootleg sailor stars release and we're like, what the hell is this? And it turned out it was actually lifted from like some message board or something, I guess. And it wasn't, it wasn't really polished. It was just a very, like a very literal translation. There were misspellings and stuff. In it. I'm like, what the hell are we? But we got the basic idea of what was going on, right? It's like, well, that's your own fault, clownfish. You should learn Japanese. Well, you that learned, was like that was like twenty yeah, some 20 years, years ago. ago. It was like twenty some. It was like it was God. a long time ago. So that's that that's that's why you want to buy the official releases, right? You don't want to pirate. You don't want to buy bootlegs. You want to buy the official releases. Well, one, they have to be affordable, and two, they have to be good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they might be more affordable now because you know, that's what fewer, they're trying to do. Fewer people they have to pay. But, you know, right? you, can, you, can, right, you can run it through an AI thing, but you have to actually have someone go through and check it and make sure it makes yeah. sense. I'm like, that's just dumb. That's just lazy. Yeah. So, um, speaking of Crunchyroll, we'll throw this in. Um, there apparently. Oh, there's a backlash for that. So there's there, backlash. Yeah, I'm they're, sure there is. I'd be pissed too. They're apparently going to attempt to compensate Funimation users for the loss of digital libraries. Yeah. So when they absorbed Funimation, and I actually thought it was going to be the other way around, but they they basically absorbed Funimation. They're shutting down the Funimation brand. It's over. Funimation is done. Right. Yeah. Just, Funimation would have been the one I kept over Crunchyroll. But yeah. I me. thought that was weird. But but anyway, it's it's the same company, right? It's basically the same company. Company, but but they uh, uh, got rid of everybody's digital libraries. So if you had a whole bunch of you know Dragon Ball and My Hero Academia movies, which I think we did, uh, they're gone. But they're going to compensate you apparently. This is yesterday, so it's coming from uh, Gizmodo. The anime streamer's recent decision to do away with Funimation came at high cost for people who build up digital libraries. That's why you want to buy physical copies, yes. <laughs> you know. And I think in our case, I think the. Uh, um, the my uh, hero academia. I think, I, I think we had the physical releases. I think we had the Blu-ray for a couple of those, and that's why we got the. I know for Evangelion we did, but I don't know. Uh, anyway, they said as we look at the usage of uh, Funimation's digital copies and the number of people that were redeeming those and using them, this is the same guy, same conversation. I think it was just not a feature that was available on Crunchyroll and isn't on our roadmap. Um, he said. So yeah, Funimation had assured audiences and FAQs that they could be streamed forever, forever. No, if the company goes out of business, 
that's it. I mean, that's right? why I picked Crunchyroll or Funimation. That might have been. That might have actually had something to do with it. They might have been like, man, that's a lot of Dragon Ball and shit that we got to keep. They said probably terms and condition caveats. Usually it's yeah. the, the forever as long as the company's around. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, in the same interview uh, as Purini, I guess, stressed after weeks of backlash, Crunchyroll is now moving to support Funimation subscribers and finding some means of compensation. Probably like we'll give you a free month They're of Crunchyroll. They probably threatened to sue them or something. Uh, th I think there was like uh, somebody talked class action lawsuit. I don't know. Um, we're working really hard directly with each customer to ensure that they have an appropriate value for what they got in the digital copy initially. So it could be that they get access to a digital copy on any of the other existing services and they might not be able or where they might be able to access it. It could be a discount access to our subscription service so they can get access to the same shows. So what they'll, they'll be like, yeah, we'll give you like 10 bucks off your subscription because we have this movie on, yeah. on our service. You can still watch it. But it's not the same as owning it. But you never really owned it. That's people don't understand. Like yeah. you have a digital copy. You don't actually, unless you actually have a hard copy on your hard drive, if it's sitting on somebody else's server, you're basically leasing access to those mm -hmm. files. You know, so they're they're reaching out to uh, uh, users via Crunchyroll customer service. Yeah, I'm sure they're getting a lot of backlash for that. So they're getting it from all sides here. But here's the thing. Um, I don't know where they're going to go with it. Because uh, Sony is not doing so great right now. I mean, they just had Madam Web was a huge disaster yeah, for them. Yeah, they just laid off a bunch of people in gaming. They just laid a bunch of people off in gaming. Uh, they're apparently shutting down some live service games. I think Twisted Metal. I'm going to do a video on the uh, gaming channel talking more about this. So they're going to be tightening their belt. So I don't think they're going to like jump through hoops to appease a handful of, in their mind, a well, handful yeah, of people. Yeah, I'm sure it's more than a handful of people. But Yeah, now, they're just going to be it's like. It's got to be more than a handful of people because they wouldn't be bothering at all. They'll Otherwise. just give them some money off of the And I think the people are probably service. threatening, threatening yeah. to do something. And, you know, and I, I do think that might be why they picked Crunchyroll or Funimation, because then we owe people this as long as they, that service was in existence. So we, we get rid of the service and then we can get rid of all that. But technically, you know, it, you were the ones who decided to terminate that service. It wasn't like it went under on its own. So that might be what people are going to argue. Yeah, but it might be in the fine print that, like, if, if at any point in time is. we discontinue the service, that means you don't get your stuff. You know, you should have read the fine print because everybody reads the fine print of every service that they sign up for, right? I mean, I'm always. Sure. Always. Always. Uh, somebody did a cartoon one time of the Apple Terms of Service, and it was like this, like, manifesto graphic novel. And it was like, oh, my God, I did not realize I was agreeing to this. And it's like, yep, 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 just whatever, just la, 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 sign, sign. Okay, there you go. Boom, done. Um, so anyway, we're going to wrap this up. There we go. Boom, done uh, for some translators, I think, for some localizers. Uh, but um, Hopefully I, they get it fixed. Hopefully they can figure out you still need at least some people looking at it to make sure, it, it, even if the AI does it, that it's accurate. Yeah, yeah. Not well, localized. yeah, because if, if you let Google Gemini do it, I yeah. mean, what's going to happen what there? Gonna <laughs> you don't know what you're going to end up with. So let's wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.